Hi, this is Cecilia from Tarot by Cecilia, and today is Sunday, April 4th, 2021. The tarot card for today is the Knight of Swords, and in this case, it's the Activist of Air by artist Frank Fridella for 78 Tarot Ecological, which will be shipping later this year. You know, I have long been a fan of Don Quixote, okay? And I even had to go look up a little bit of the history of the story. And it turns out that it's, you know, like one of the earliest novels ever written. Back in 1605, the first part was printed. And, you know, the story about Don Quixote is, you know, his imagination and obviously his curiosity and his romanticism, the way he would approach things. And there's a lot that's going on here that really resonates with this for me right now, especially since we just saw, you know, Mercury enter Aries yesterday, or today actually, because yesterday it was like right before midnight, so that doesn't count. And then the Knight of Swords, he is someone who is curious and all over the place and getting into things, right? And I am reminded of the phrase, tilting at windmills, because there they are, the windmills are in this depiction. And, you know, that can happen. And the Wikipedia definition of tilting at windmills is attacking imaginary enemies <laughs> that that can definitely fit a knight of swords because this is definitely a mental type card you know one of thought and a way of thinking and that thinking can at times be a little bit scattered you know when you see this particular knight so you know him going from one thing to another and perception perception seems to be important here now even if this happens to you, what do you do about it, okay? Do you make yourself aware of it? Do you try to hold back? Because something tells me that if you're in this kind of tilting at windmills mode where you perceive, you know, the something, whatever, it's almost like being a little bit paranoid if you ask me, but it's that being able to say to yourself i could be wrong it may not be this way it may just be how i feel and we've discussed this with many different types of transits and planetary positions and things that sometimes the things that you know when an energy of feeling overwhelms us and we don't know what to do about it, how to react to it, which could be what's happening here today. I always just say, remember that it is energy and it will pass. So uh, there's something about the mental side of this card that, you know, gives me cause for concern, but not in a bad way, all right? Just sometimes we imagine things to be not as they truly are all right now on the other side of this one of the things that i wanted to bring up and it's it's still two days away but it's possible to begin feeling it and that is actually a sextile between venus and mars and it's sunday it might be a little bit of a stretch but i think that you can use this night in your love life if you need to all right and this sextile that's coming up it's an energy that actually gives you the ability to um, be aggressive but not in such a way that it's scary okay you don't want that to happen but sometimes we need that little nudge from the universe to be able to speak up and let someone know how we feel and somehow just putting all of this into context with Don Quixote today feels right I can't wait to see what the artist has written about this card that he created 
because it's probably very interesting what he has to say about Don Quixote. I have to remember to get a copy of that so that we can start featuring it on my page for you. But yeah, just make sure that what you're doing today is not overly scattered, all right? You don't want to get, because it's Sunday, and sometimes we run around on a Sunday, those who have to go out to work on a Monday, whatever, right? And trying to get all these things done. And then Monday comes and you're like, oh, oh my God, oh my God, I forgot to do such and such yesterday. So you don't want to use this night's energy that kind of tends to be all over the place and not accomplish your goals. Be aware of it. And I think if you can be aware of it, especially with the that change with Mercury. Mercury moving into Aries is a whole different ball game than when Mercury was in Pisces. While it was in Pisces, you probably had days when you were emotional and you didn't even know why. You're like, out of the blue, I'm sitting here and I got a tear. I can't tell you how many people told me that, right? So, big difference with the energy that's here today. So, address it and don't allow it to take over in such a way that it makes you uncomfortable with what you're doing. Just know that energy shifts from day to day and you've got this. I want to thank you very much for being here. I'll see you here again tomorrow and as always, have a great day.